which is just the set of two. I know there's a set of four and then a set of two. Oh, sure. Let's see, these are the 100. There's supposed to be three of them. Oh, that may be. Oh, okay. Do they all go together? Yeah, these three go together. Oh, okay. These three do, because they're all the 100 years. Got you. And these are uh, 10 for three of them. And then these, these are how many? These are three. And then, and then these are the, uh, what do you call it? Those ugly looking green things. Oh, yes, yeah, Shrek. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. I got your glasses for 10 and two hats at five each, if oh, that's thank okay. You. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. I think I'm okay. Thank you, though. How much your shoes and sandals are? Those and those. Look on the side of them. Oh, I think they're not well. Oh, three. I see it. Okay. Three and those are three. I'm going to get them both. Thank okay. you very much. Is it okay if I pop them down? Sure. Thank you. Okay, I think I had six, seven, eight. This one was nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. 13. Awesome. Yep. There no we problem. go. Thank, Thank you. you ever so much. I appreciate oh, it. Y'all have a nice day. Thank you.
What's your shoes are? Um, I think I have five on them. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, the mirror, I think, had three okay. on it. The ruler, I wasn't sure. The ruler was probably 50 Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, I think I'm okay. Thank you, though. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you all. All right, you guys, welcome to the haul. So here is what I bought at today's yard sales. Let's start over here. Um, so I actually ummed and ahmed this yard sale because the prices were really kind of high, at least high for what I'm used to paying for these kind of things at yard sales. Um, so I did end up going back and grabbing these hats only because I looked up some comps and decided it was worth the investment. There are two here. They are priced at $5 a piece. They are true vintage. So we have the World Series Champions Florida Marlins 1997. This hat is in good shape overall, not much in the way of marks or anything this world series hat does have a couple of small marks down here near the brim but i do feel pretty confident that i can go ahead and get those out also priced at five dollars i did pay the full price for them they weren't really into haggling and that is totally okay totally understandable and um, but i do think i can get around sort of 25 to maybe even up towards like 40 for each hat i also grabbed at that yard sale these glasses here these are actually just a personal buy but i wanted to let you know since you probably saw me buy them or bundled them in at that particular yard sale i also also paid ten dollars for these which i wouldn't normally do although side note they do actually have a decent amount of value i wasn't aware of that but these are the glasses that we use in my house there they're like disney 100 year anniversary whatever it is but i like it because it has all the cool facts and the characters and little elements from the parks in fact at this point the only one i'm missing is epcot so if you ever find that let me know i will totally buy it off of you <laughs> this one i actually have multiple times over um but they wanted to keep them together as three so we have magic kingdom animal kingdom and then um i think this is just like a random theme boat willy one so whatever um but i paid ten dollars for the three of them like i said for personal use although they do actually hold a little bit of value and i'll make sure i put comps up for you as well okay at this yard sale um i found these shoes this was towards the end of the day they were asking five on them but they actually have very light wear i can clean up um this white edge here with a magic eraser really well make them look really nice and the tread wear on them is really not too significant at all and um, so for running shoes just cleaning them up and stuff i think they'll do well in fact the last pair that sold in this size in this exact colorway sold for $39.99 plus shipping and I paid five dollars for these oh and the brand is Sacconi uh, in case you're wondering and they're the Triumph Ever Runs I also picked out this fold-out ruler for 50 cents I actually don't know how well this one will do it's just the Sears one but it is a vintage one I hear that they can do okay here and there I figured for 50 cents I would give this one a try since it's a little bit different uh compared to the ones that I would normally find then I also picked up this mirror for I think it was either two or three dollars i don't know that this is vintage necessarily although it gives me like total 90s vibe but there's so many different keywords to play with here like the celestial astronomical um all those kind of things and like i said true like it really gives me that 90s feel um and it being a novelty and stuff i decided to go ahead and just grab that and take a chance on it based on style and i'm kind of thinking that it might sell on poshmark and lastly at this yard sale i did grab a few things as well personal items
items for my boys. They had lots of boys clothing, nothing that I would necessarily resell, um, but I did manage to pick these up as well. Two pairs of Allegria shoes. They were $3 a piece. We have one pair of sandals here. Really, really nice shape, very light wear to them. And then one pair here where they have the almost like oil slick rainbow look to them. And they're more like, they're not really like a clog. I don't really know what you would call these. I know they have style numbers, so I'll have to check it out and find out its exact name. But again, in really nice shape overall. Total bonus when you pick up things for yourself at a yard sale and then you find things while you're there, they can resell and then like pay for everything and then make you profit as well. <laughs> One of the perks of being a reseller. All right, you guys, thank you for coming along with me to today's yard sales. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you like yard sailing and flipping stuff online for a profit, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you can come back and yard sell with me some more. As always, if you're looking for a friendly Facebook group, don't forget to check out mine, Thrift Nice, link down below in the description. And lastly, if you're on the hunt for any fun reseller or thrifting themed merchandise, you can check out my Teespring store, link down below as well. All right, you guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!